guys. So I am riding the Skyline bike park in Rotorua uh, with my own bike now by myself. This is about a week or so later than when Crankworx was. So this was on April 7th. I was flying home almost two weeks later. So then I had almost two weeks to go travel and try out mountain biking in various places. So the first place I went right after school was Rotorua. It's only about an hour away. It's a pretty small kind of a bike park really. Like there's like 13 trails. The elevation gain from this gondola really is only about 200 meters apparently. Yeah, there's some pretty cool trails. Mr. Black would probably be one of my favorites. Um, that was kind of like an A-line type of trail. This is where they did the, the RDH downhill race on during Crankworks. It, uh, it does actually get kind of pedally, um, a bit flat in certain sections where it gets a bit hard to clear the jumps. Um, definitely one of the better, funner trails, I'd say. I guess in better conditions, it would probably be even faster. It, uh, it had actually just rained quite a bit uh, a few days before. The trails weren't in the greatest of shape. I'm not riding at 100% because my wrist is not healed totally yet. I'm not sure if you guys would be able to notice the difference in my riding or not, but I know I could feel it in my wrist. I could definitely feel it. Yeah, I'm curious to know if you guys can actually notice that or not in my in, in the video. First day I actually ended up breaking my chain. I have no idea how that happened, oh, no. but basically then I had to drive out to uh, some local shop, get a master link put in. One thing that was really funny is that uh, as I was driving back to the bike park, um, some kid recognized me as I was driving and I thought that was really cool. So I was driving down the road, some kid on the side of the road, I just hear him yell out, that's Jordan Boostmaster. It was just so funny because <laughs> I don't know, I like never had that happen before. Um, you know, you just must have seen my bike on the bike rack. If you're watching this video, shout out to you, man, that was awesome. Uh, I just like turned around and just gave you like a peace sign. That was just really funny. Um, that was awesome though. But yeah, there's fun trails there, definitely a fun time, but it's just that since it's so small, you can really only spend like one day there, one full day, or like two half days, and then you've kind of ridden everything like twice, <laughs> you know. Yeah. 
There we go. So there's only one green, basically one green trail here. It's called Hipster. It's actually pretty fun, flowy. Um, I'd say it's definitely more fun than the greens that you'd normally find at Whistler. Um, so the trails there are pretty good. They're they're generally just fast and flowy. But uh, I guess the only kind of downside to this bike park is that it is pretty small and it's not a very high elevation gain. It's just that you can kind of ride the whole park in one day. Um, I had split it up over two days, two shorter days basically. Basically after Rotorua I went down to Wellington and then uh, you're going to see some really sweet Wellington trails. I had a lot of fun in Wellington so you're going to see that fairly soon. 